Prescott's already in the book once. Was there something behind the play? Let's have a look. It was the challenge with Musket and Adam Hughes, and then it was the, the failing arm of Kevin Musket. The left arm flicked back, caught Hughes in the head, and Kevin Musket is off. The Melbourne victory captain gets a red card, and things go from bad to worse for the home side. Well, he walks a fine line, Kevin Musket. This time, he stepped over it. Whenever you raise your arm in the football match, he caught Adam Hughes high. The referee deemed it illegal. He'd already had a yellow card for an earlier incident. And that's the second one. It was the trailing left arm that caught Hughes in the face. Well, he's a master of disguising things, Kevin Musket. We've seen him play the game with a great passion. And a bit of cheekiness as well this time. That cheekiness has gone deep into this game. Kevin Muscat trying to referee the game once again, Muscat. <laughs> I never said that, Simon. <laughs> I actually thought that the free kick was against Kevin Musket there with an elbow raised. But look, Kwasnick looks like he's struggling when you have... Oh, he's hit the referee. He's got the ref square on the melon. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's the FIFA ruling on that, Simon? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Strebray Dolovsky normally gives the players a bit of rope. That's... Uh... <laughs> Theory, mate. I thought I was back on it's a knockout then for a minute. <laughs> but, uh, Strebray Dolovsky's big moment. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's accidental, but a fair play. But, uh, Strebray Dolovsky's big moment. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Muska and John Cosmina having a real set two on the sideline. Well, this is not really what we want to see. And Matthew Preeze has got some sorting out to do here. It's a yellow card for uh, Kevin Muska. And then still the debate goes on. As he went to get the ball, and John Cosmina saying that Kevin Muska pushed him off his chair. I'm sure if John Cosmina was holding on to the ball and... Well, the irony is, of course, is that uh, at half-time, they walked off arm-in-arm. Arm. This will tell us more. Well, he did. He shoved him off his chair, didn't he? John Cosmina, whilst you're uh, watching the replay, has been sent to the stands, and the Melbourne Victory fans are giving the, re the reception that you might anticipate. And it's ending in uproar here at Telstra Dome. Well, John Cosmina would be wise to make his way as quickly as he possibly can down the tunnel because these are not the sort of scenes we want associated with what has otherwise been an absolutely gripping encounter. Well, spilled off the pitch. I don't think John Cosmina has done a lot wrong there. Kevin Musket's going to get the ball back. Of course, they're chasing the game. As Cosmina's bent down, looks like he was pushed. Obviously, very unflatteringly fell to the ground. Well, the fourth official has now come across and told John Cosmina not to sit right on the edge of the uh, borderline, or the boundary line, as they call it in AFL here, but he's got to go up to the stand, and that will probably diffuse what is potentially a rather explosive situation. Well, I think it might be better for him. for the victory captain. They're down to 10 men. And Kevin Musket, I'm afraid to say, lost it there. Uh, no complaints there from the Melbourne victory captain. Wild reckless. He just flew into that tackle. He's mistimed it horrendously. The up and under, he's gone way over the ball. That is dangerous for Musket. 
And Adrian Zara, very lucky not to get hurt in that exchange. Well, we're not sure if he is not hurt. He's still down. And he'll do very well to escape a serious knee injury there. That's a terrible challenge from Kevin Musket. We saw Surat Suka put Matthew Leckie out of the game for quite some time at this very stadium, of course. And there's another knee being attended to. And he deserves to hear it from the Hart fans. Kevin Musket, so often the villain, heads down the tunnel. It was ugly from the Melbourne victory captain. Reckless, flying, lunge at Adrian Zara, who again had done a wonderful job. He skipped past the first challenge, and then Musket came flying in. He's missed the ball by a mile, and he's taken out Zara in that right knee area. And then the back flip, that was the momentum and the power in the challenge. And then the pain set in. Fifth red card of Kevin Musket's A-League career and he's got them in back-to-back -back games.